When we use our paintbrush, the first thing we do is clean it well to make sure there's no paint in the bristles. Remember that we hold our paintbrush the way we hold a pencil and we're gentle with the brush. We brush in one direction very softly like brushing our hair. The first color I need is brown. Use your wet paintbrush to brush water over the brown oval in your watercolor pan. The more you brush, the darker the paint will be when you put it on the paper. The first part that I'm going to paint is my tree. I'm going to paint directly on top of the crayon. Taking my time, I'm brushing in one direction softly and gently. I want to focus on how I'm holding my paintbrush, how I'm using my paintbrush in a careful and gentle way, and following along the lines of the tree. You'll notice that because the crayon is on our paper, it's quite easy to get all the way up to the line. It sort of acts like a barrier. Once my tree trunk and tree limb are painted, I'm going to clean my brush in the water pot. And next I'm moving on to the color orange. Remember the more you brush gently in the oval pan, the richer your color will be. Let's paint our owl orange. Be careful not to go inside of the eye shape, but everything else can be covered in orange paint. After cleaning our brush, we'll move on to the green. In my picture, I'm going to paint my leaves green, but you could use fall colors if you wish. I'm also going to paint part of the owl's eyes green as well, but you could choose whatever colors you want. What will you pick? We're finally ready to paint our night sky. I'm going to start with black paint. Remember to hold your brush the way you hold a pencil and brush gently. Remember that when we drew this picture, we used a white crayon to draw stars in the sky. As you paint the nighttime sky with black, you should see those stars reveal themselves. While the black paint is still wet, I'm going to use purple paint and add purple and blend it into the black of my night sky. Now all I have to do is wait and let it dry. 